हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फिजिक्स बॉय आई एम सॉल्विंग जेस 2017 फिजिक्स पेपर आई विल अपलोड ऑल फिजिक्स क्वेश्चंस वन बाय वन एंड आई विल शेयर फ्यू टिप्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो वाच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड एट फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पार्टिसिपेशन प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम पार्ट बी जेस 2017 द क्वेश्चन वाज ए पार्टिकल इज डिस्क्राइब बाय द फॉलोइंग हैमिल्टोनियन व्हेयर द क्वाड्रेटिक टर्म कैन बी ट्रीटेड पार्टिसिपेटिवली इफ डेल E not and del E one denote the energy connection of the order of lambda to the ground state and first excited state respectively. What is the fraction del E one by del E not? In this video, I will solve this problem in two different methods. First one is by using a straightforward perturbation theory, and then I will solve this problem by using a short trick. Okay, this is the given. Hamiltonian of one dimensional harmonic oscillator with perturbation lambda x to the power 4 you know the ground state wave function of harmonic oscillator is written as psi not which is equal to m omega by pi h squared whole to the power 1/4 times e to the power minus m omega x square by 2h squared and the wave function of the first excited state of harmonic oscillator is written as psi 1 which is equal to m omega by pi h squared whole to the power 1/4 times square root of 2m omega by h squared times x times e to the power m omega x square by 2h squared now you have to calculate the ratio of first order energy correction of first excited state and first order energy correction of ground state of simple harmonic oscillator at first i am going to find first order energy correction for the ground state from the time independent perturbation theory first order energy correction of ground state del e not is equal to k psi 0 lambda x to the power 4 bra psi 0 now by putting the value of ground state wave function psi 0 here we get this equation now you see that here we have to evaluate this integration we can use this general formula to perform this type of integration here we have x to the power fourth term so we have to put n is equal to 2 in the in this general formula nothing else now come back to the energy correction formula after putting the value of this integration so we end up with the value of del e not is equal to 3 lambda h cut square by 4 m square omega square similarly we have to find the first order energy correction of the first excited state here we have to insert wave function of the first excited state of the harmonic oscillator as in the previous case here also we have to evaluate this integration the only difference is here x to the power 6 term is present instead of x to the power 4 term so by putting the value of n3 in the general integration formula as i said earlier after inserting this value of integration we so we end up with the value of del e1 which is equal to 15 lambda h cut square by 4 m square omega square so the ratio is 5 for this question you must be answered by integers of four digits in jest exam so the answer is 0005 now i am coming to the alternative method here just you have to remember a general formula of harmonic oscillator nothing else then you can solve this type of problem in a very short time okay the formula is the first order energy correction of harmonic oscillator for any state due to perturbating term lambda x to the power 4 is equal to this where x is given by this equation if you put the value of x in this equation then you will get a general formula which is equal to lambda h cut square by 4 m square omega square times 6 n square plus 6 n plus 3 now to find the first order energy correction of ground state you have to put n is equal to 0 then you will get and to calculate the first order energy correction of the first excited state you have to put n is equal to 1 in this formula then you can find the ratio of this two term which is equal to 5 now i am going to share a tips and tricks for upcoming examination and for any future examination okay i already discussed the a formula that 
if the perturbating term contains x to the power 4 term then you can calculate first order energy correction of any state like ground state or first excited state or second excited state and so on by using this formula you have to just put the value of n is equal to 0 for ground state and for n is equal to 1 you know, for first excited state and so on now if the perturbating term contains x square term then you can calculate first order energy correction of any state by using this formula you have to just put the value of n only nothing else now if the perturbating term contains x or x cube term or any odd power of x term then the energy correction of any state will be zero if you have any other query then feel free to write me by commenting on my video this video is helpful then please share it to any physics related social media group we will upload remaining questions by one within few hours so stay tuned with us subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon to enjoy the latest uploads from our channel